Okay guys, this is it. The last video for three or four weeks, probably closer to four weeks. So after this, it'll just be army showcases from here on out because there's, oh, there's only about 130 miniatures left to paint in total. So between May and June, 60, 60, you know, 70, 70, how many ever I get done. I might only do one video before the big battle, but I didn't want to do one video uh, before I go on vacation in six days. So this is going to be a little bit part update, a little bit uh, rant, a little bit laughing out loud at GW. But uh, so we did, let's see here if I can, I'm going to unhook the camera here. So as you can see here, the legions have grown. That's right. So this is actually the, the full ANA slash Gripping Beast contingents completed. So 48 man units of, of attacking guys, a legion, and then a 24 auxiliary Palatina guys standing at the ready with Spiculum. So hand painted shields on both of them and about 25% of each unit is gripping beasts, but the predominant portion of them are, uh, are ANA miniatures. So uh, pretty happy with the way they turned out, except for, I don't know if you guys saw the standard bearer on the unit that I just put the ground texture on. That figure was fiddly as fuck. It was a gripping beast. Romano-British guy, I think, and holy shit, I could not get that damn standard. Um, is it even good to go now? Yes, I think it's finally good to go after using 10 pounds of super glue, uh, or, you know, the acrylic ground paste and everything else to get it to stick down. It is finally good. So pretty happy. I was I was able to finish out the Aventine or the A and I keep saying Aventine. Same sculptor, different company. Uh, the a a miniatures, I was able to get them all finished out this month before going out on vacation. So pretty happy with that. This is, this is it essentially in front of you. The only things I want to do before I leave is prime some more miniatures. I want to get, uh, oh, I did build, as you can see, I did build some, I did build 12 more of the Vitrix Javelin men to flush out the first light division. And then, uh, you know, I want to just prime, prime a few more units. So that way when I do come back, I just have a good pool of miniatures I can start grinding on. Don't have to assemble any, clean any, prime any, just grab, grab bottle caps, grab pop of sickle sticks and just start painting. So this is the army. It's coming along. I might start working on some of those archers in the back. Uh, if I get bored, I don't have any plans to paint for the next six days. But if I'm like, absolutely like I need to paint, like crack, like a crack fiend, then I'll start painting on those archers. So I was feeling a little burnt out this morning on painting until I was working on those guys and I was doing all their shields. And I was like, yes, they're done. And then, you know, that, uh, that uh, dopamine rush of, oh, they're completed and they look good. It kind of, it kind of hit me. And so... We'll see. Maybe I'll paint more. Maybe I won't. But uh, in total, I think with everything, including the expanded Roman army that I talked about in the previous video, I am looking at 550 miniatures bringing to the game. So like I said, that's about 130 left to paint. 420 have been painted. So pretty, I, and I can do it with how I've been painting. I can do 120, even taking, uh, you know, two to three weeks off end of April, beginning of May, I can, I can get it done. So, uh, the, the guys at battle foam are building, they built out the trays. I've reviewed the order. They're going to send me a bill for it. So then we can start getting everything packed up, but that is that, and moving on to GW. So I'm sure if uh, any of you guys play Warhammer 40K, you'll know that there's a bit of a kerf another kerfuffle in the world that is GW. 
And all the apparently they have retconned their lore to say custodies are now women. They release a codex and it's like C- women custodies, and everyone's like, "What? Where did women custodies come from?" And GW's response was, "They've always been there, you idiots. You weren't looking hard enough." To which everyone's like, "No, like even I, even I know the lore enough to know that that's bullshit, <laughs> and I don't even play the game." But the, my bigger point is, not only are they shitting on their most loyal and hardcore fan base, it ramps up, guys. They have, number one, they can't grow any more than they have. There is not an unlimited, it's not like Marvel movies, right? Or or Star, even Star Wars movies or anything, any other kind of nerd IP that, that got big, mainstream big. There's not an unlimited pool of people to drag into the hobby. And their whole model, their whole business model is predicated on getting new people in to buy buy their overpriced, overvalued models. And, and they're in a lurch because during COVID, their freaking their revenues went through the roof because people could just spend all this money, COVID money too, on stupid indoor hobbies like painting miniatures and it got a lot of people into the hobby and a lot of people who are already in the hobby spent more during that two to three year period that has gone away they have investors they need to try and position their company in a way for a buyout that is the ultimate goal for gw because the investors they don't give a fuck about somebody who's been playing Warhammer 40k since 1990 they don't care about that person what they care about is return on their investment and if they need to like dumb dumb down the rules water down the lore make everything PG and you know you know all encompassing to to include everybody and everything they will do so they are going to destroy this IP And, and you need look no further than Disney Marvel destroyed Star Wars destroyed. I loved Star Wars. I still like Star Wars, but Mar- but Disney's destroying it. They're an evil corporation. They bought it. They they drained it. They put a whole bunch of political ideology into it to try and make it have more mass appeal. It seems to be backfiring, but they're just doubling down on it. So I would expect Warhammer to do to follow the same same way, guys. And you can't get attached uh, to these IPs. And I know it's hard. Like, you know, I reference Star Wars. I read books. I read the comic books. You know, I, I love the animated series. And it's just, it's just shit now. The last few shows they've done have been meh at best. The last movies were just atrocious. And it's just going to get worse. It's just going to get worse. Disney and Bob Iger have no no intentions on doing anything different. And GW is the same way, guys. They're, it's not going to get better. It's only going to get worse. If you're if you're so emotionally and financially involved in in the world of these um, fantasy and sci-fi IPs, don't be, because these companies they're just going to milk them dry. They're going to milk you dry. And that's why I don't play Warhammer. Number one, prices. I say this all the time. For what you get, the prices are overinflated. To which Holy Diver would say, don't be poor. It's not a poor man's hobby. Fine. To then to follow on to that, they just shit on people. They just shit on their own fans so much. They 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 have this constant of this constant thing of nerfing and buffing armies to get people to buy models. They 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 fuck with the rules in a way that it's predatory. To make people buy different models at different points to, to keep the revenue streams going. They straight out straight up nuke armies. Yeah, in conjunction with this Custodes Codex, they nuked two Age of Sigmar armies. Why? Because they don't want to carry the mod pirate was their least two least profitable armies. They don't want to produce models for them anymore, especially with old with Warhammer Old World now. And they, they nuked them. So every every player who who was collecting or is collecting those two armies, they are fucked. They will not get new rules supported for those armies. They will not get new models supported for those armies. And it's just typical GW. They do not care about their fans. And it, it's it's nothing personal. It's just it's what they're going to do. They're going to keep having a bunch of it's 
they're going to just keep injecting more women into it. That's what they're going to do because I think it's just like every other company. I think women is like this massively untapped market and it's like, it's a fucking war game. You know, it's just like the U S and British militaries. They think, Oh my God, women in combat arms. It's a massive untapped market. There's a fucking reason that shit hasn't been like this in fucking thousands of years. (laughs) You know, like there's a good reason why there ain't no women in these Roman legions, right? Like, (laughs) but I digress, you know, the thing I love about historical, you know, every once in a while I think about getting into Star Wars miniatures or GW or whatever it is. And I'm just like, no, because of shit like this, the prices are, are predatory. The rules are predatory and they don't even give a fuck about their own fans, about their own people. And, and why? Because, you know, and with historicals, I paint these models. It doesn't matter what rules I move to a Roman legion is a Roman legion and I don't have to it's not like some rule maker is going to come and retcon Diocletian out of Roman history no he can't and it, it, like they're there that is truth there's no interpretation Diocletian was a Roman emperor who reformed the Roman empire right like you can't you can't get away from it and then that, and that's the whole thing like even if you jump from rule system to rule system, your historical armies, they never, they're never, they never go out of, you know, vogue fashion, playability, however you want to term it, they don't go out. I will have this Roman army forever to be able to play games with whatever, a wide variety of rule sets with, and the models will look great, you know, through eternity. Can't say the same with GW. You can't. They're going to, they're going to, they're gonna poke and prod and pry their their IP apart and the and their and their rules and their miniatures apart and you know just like the scale creep with the miniatures and, and every, everything else they do. You can name a million different dumb fucking things GW has done to its its fan base just to, to shit on their heads and that and I don't and that's why I will never get into it because historicals don't do that. They just don't. So, you know, I feel sorry for you guys that are emotionally in- invested. And this is just another example of GW doing GW things. But I just wanted to talk about it because, like, I just, I've been watching the videos of people losing their minds. And it's like, to be expected, guys, to be expected. You know, all these, all these make believe worlds you get attached to, you know, I'm almost like that meme from Platoon, you know, when Sergeant Barnes is like, why you guys smoke this shit to get away from reality? And it's like, I don't need this shit. I am reality. I mean, that's kind of like where I'm at. Like, all of the fantasy sci-fi IPs, they're just shit and garbage. And it's like, why when I can have this? It's <laughs> most of the time reality is more interest, just as interesting or even more interesting than these IPs and they don't they don't take a giant shit on your head so that is the rant over i hope you guys enjoyed this slight battle of strasburg project update not a full-blown 20 or 30 minute video just a 15 minute video so just showcasing just showcasing some of the stuff i'll get in here close so you guys can see the the metal the metal crack in its glory look at those guys man Look at those guys. I had to do the command out front. I usually like having the command in the second rank, but that is how the cookie crumbles. Sometimes you don't get to do what you do, want to do rather. You don't get to do what you want to do. You just got to make do with what you got. But yeah, hand painted the shields on all these guys. Did a couple different patterns for the shields. Oddly enough, I uh, they most they most closely look like. Um, the second uh, Britannia Legion, which is not what I was going for, LOL. But And then these guys are the Haruli. Theirs was simple. Red and white. You can't screw that up. <laughs> so, oh, I did do a pattern on the Draco there. But I still got to paint the pole because, like I said, getting that thing to be glued down was 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 an event so i still got to paint the the standard pole there but everything else and then you know just pan over what we got left to paint 
So there's everything else left to paint. So, alrighty guys, see you in a month.